Hey guys, I'm Katie or KB Does Art and today we're going to be um, hopefully modeling a toaster. So I haven't done this before so hopefully it turns out alright but um, it's a learning process. So um, go ahead and just make a cube and then I'm going to make mine probably like let's do a 4 by 3 by 3 maybe. Let's see how this guy turns out. We might make him a little bit shorter. Let's start with that. Let's go ahead and move it to the ground by putting Y to one and a half. And then next thing you're going to want to do is um, let's add some divisions. So I'm going to do even divisions. So four by three by three. And then just to be safe, let's just actually double that. So eight by six by six. All right, so next thing I probably just want to do is select these top faces. Let's select this first. Let's extrude. Let's offset them into 0.25. And then we'll go ahead and just extrude again and lower its thickness so it goes into our mesh. Let's do the same with the other side. I'm going to lower it down negative 1.5, just so I'm a little even. And then let's select these guys as well. Offset them in by 0.25. Then extrude again and lower the thickness to negative 1.5. You can decide how um, far down you want to make it. I'm just going to do mine um, at 1.5. Five, um, to begin with and then I might change it later so we'll see. Alright so that's the beginnings of our toaster. Let's go ahead and make the um, handle part of the toaster. So go into face mode, select these two faces, extrude and offset them in. I'm gonna go in probably 0.3 then click R and scale up on that axis. And then let's just go ahead and scale in on this axis as well, just to kind of pinch them in a little bit. And then go ahead and extrude and push the thickness into the mesh, probably like negative 0.5. All right, so now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and make a lever. So let's just go ahead and make a cylinder and then we'll put that cylinder here. So first thing is, let's just scale it down. Doesn't need to be exact. Make it pretty tall. And then next thing we're going to do is change the rotation of it. So it needs to come towards us by 90 degrees. So do the Z axis to 90. And then let's go ahead and just move that guy up. We want it to be the width that this hole is, so you need to scale it down a little bit. And then you can push it into that mesh. And then you're gonna wanna scale it out so that it's long and it reaches out here. All right, that should be good. So next thing we just need to do is go ahead and make the little handle that connects to it. So um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and make um, another cylinder. Go ahead and rotate it again. Let's instead rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees. Just scale it down. Push it on up so it connects to that guy. I'm gonna scale it down just a smidge as well. I'm gonna flatten it. So it looks a little bit more like a toaster handle. All right. Looking pretty good. So now we've got our handle and our toaster. Um, really the next thing we need to do is add a couple dials so this one needs two dials so let's go in here let's just select 
these two faces and then do mesh, do edit mesh circularize. Let's adjust that um, radial offset. Adjust that twist. All right, so first thing I think I just need to do is go ahead and select these four faces on each side. Extrude and offset those guys in. And then press W and just push them up. Next, you can do Edit Mesh Circularize. And then we're going to adjust that twist. Mine's usually like 45. Then you can just press W, push them down a smidge. I'm going to go ahead and um, extrude, offset them in, and then extrude. And let's bring their thickness up. Probably about 0.15. All right, so now we've got some little um, turn buttons. We'll bevel them later. And then I think next what I want to do is go ahead and select this top edge. So the whole edge going around. Then do Command B for beveling. Then do Control B for beveling. I'm gonna do probably one segment is good. And then I'm gonna increase my fraction. All right, so now we've got a little smoothness to our toaster. If you want to, you can scale out this edge a little bit or you can scale it in depending on what you want your mesh to kind of look like. I want mine to be a bit more round, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring um, just a couple of these edges down a smidge. Kind of like how that's looking. All right, and then let's go ahead. What I want to do is just add some little buttons on um, here to kind of show like little increments of maybe like four. So go ahead and let's just grab maybe a sphere. And then let's push it over here, click R, scale it down pretty small, and then I'm going to squish mine. So that it's almost like a little button. A little more oval shaped probably. It's basically just going to act as little increments on um, this mesh. So let's go ahead and push it up here. So it's going to stick out and then we'll rotate them. I'm going to do probably increments of like five. So I'll do one here. Then we'll duplicate that, Command D, we'll move one over, and then E, and rotate it so that it's even with this side. And then Command D, move it, move it down, and rotate it again. There we go. So now you're just gonna um, Command D, move that on over here. Looks like our rotation is at negative 46.043. So just change it to a positive 46.063. And then as for this one, this guy is at negative 23.897. So push it on over here and do positive 23.897. And then just move them. Um, kind of however you feel like it looks the best. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be our little increment. So now you can just select all of those holding shift and do command D and then just push it on over to this guy. And then just try and match up as evenly as you can to that middle guy. All right, so now I've got our little increments on the toaster. And then I think next... 
So go ahead and select the faces on the bottom, extrude, and offset them in, probably like 0.25, and then extrude and just bring that thickness out to probably like 0.2. And then the very next thing that we're going to be doing is adding cute little indents on this part. But before we do that, we're going to be using booleans. And so booleans basically make it so that it's really difficult to smooth your object afterwards and like mess up your mesh. So go into object mode on this guy and then go ahead and just do mesh smooth right off the bat. That way it doesn't start messing up our um, mesh anymore that we want to. Um, I'm probably going to aim for two divisions and then... Um, now is when you can go ahead and let's do some booleans. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab a cube, move it over here, and then scale it down. It's pretty thin. And then push it in just so that you can see that green line. And then you could scale it in a bit. It doesn't need to be that big. I'm going to push it up to about here. Next thing I'm going to do is select the toaster, select the square. Next thing I'm going to do is duplicate that square, command D, and then push it down, duplicate again, push it down, duplicate again, push down one more time. Now you're going to select the toaster, select the chair, then select each cube, and then you're going to do mesh, booleans, difference. So it should just make some little cuts into our mesh like that. Um, next thing you can do is you can select all of these objects and then do mesh combine so that they're all one. Um, and then that's basically our toaster. So got a cute little um, toaster here for you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, and hopefully this was you know easy for you, not too hard. Um, I have a lot of fun with like little objects like this. So if you guys have any questions, um, let me know. See you guys next time. Bye guys.